welcome to tutorial to us.com in the last session we discussed how to change the default server port and ip of smartfax server 2x in this session we are going to see the concept of how to change the default port of admin panel or jetty server of smartfax server 2x Why we need to change the host input of admin panel or uh, Jetty server? As mentioned earlier, the Jetty server of Smartfax server 2x will runs on the port of 8080. Let's see. If you see, if you are running a Tomcat server, what you know is the default port of Tomcat is 8080. Then, if you start the Smartfax server 2x, then automatically we will get an exception like. Uh, already bind exception for the 8080 port why because it using the tomcat so in those scenarios we need to change our default port of uh, jt port or uh, admin panel port one thing to remember that the smartfax server 2x uses two types of jt servers first one is the jt8 and second version is the jt9 up to the smartfax server 2.5 JT8 version is running in the Smartfax server 2x. From the 2.5 version, it uses JT9. So, the changing of port from JT8 to JT9 is slightly changed. We need to see in separate concepts. Means, I will show a JT8 port configuration and JT9 server port configuration in separately. For the demonstration purpose. I have a Smartfax server 2x 2.5 version, and that I will show the JT8 uh, port change concept, and the latest version of 2.9 I will show the JT9 server port configurations. Let's see JT8 concept. The default port of uh, JT port is 8080 and 8443 for the HTTPS mode means the for the secure connection. In either of H JT8 uh, or JT9, these are the default ports of admin panel for the Smartfax server 2x. So the JT dot XML is there in the SFS 2x file folder. So open it using any test editor. In that, we have a uh, tag named system property. That property consists uh, the tag consists uh, two attributes name and default. So Change those uh, default 8080 port to as you are need, and the same confidential port. After that, restart the Smartfax server 2x. Let's see in uh, how to change those. For the demonstration purpose, let's see this Smartfax 2x alpha. This is not the 2.9 version. This is the 2.5 version. In that SFS 2x folder, SFS uh, 2x folder consists a folder named config folder. In that JT folder is there. Open the JT dot XML using any test editor. Here I am using the Notepad plus plus as the default editor. So I am using uh, Notepad plus plus to open the JT dot XML. So here the file. In this. Uh, Please search the JT port and JT host. So it is the JT port. So please change the JT port uh, from 8080 to as you need. I am changing as 9090. And this is the confidential port. This confidential port means if you are running any SSL based connections, then it uses this port. Uh, this port. So if you have any conflicts uh, of 8443, please change it also. I am changing as 9443. After that, restart the server. After the restart the server, after restarting the server, you will get the effects. And let's see how to change the JT port in JT9. Similar to to the JT8, it also have the 8080 and 8443 for the Smartfax 2x admin panel. Default ports. Let's see this. In the earlier concept, 
all the http details or https details are mentioned in jt.xml <coughs> whereas in uh, jt9 we have two files first one is the http.ini and second one is the https.ini so need to change those two files so open the http.ini file using any test editor this http.ini is there in the jt folder the jt folder is there in sfs2x in that sfs2x we have a folder name lib this is not config lib folder in the lib folder we have jt jt folder consists start.d folder in that we have a file named http.ini so open it in that we have a key named jt.port so change that key value as your custom need similarly open the https.ini for the secure connections port modification this https.ini is there in the start.d folder similar to the http.ini so open it for this file http s.port is there change that let's see that after the modification restart the server right now i am running the uh, smartfax server 2.9 it is running in 8080 port so i am changing to 9191 and the secure connection to 9494 if you have any trouble with my voice or lecture you may go to the tutorial to us.com and our smartfax server in that a file named jtport configuration.php is there or it there is a link in a HTTP uh, sorry JT port configuration link is there you may refer that in that JT 8 port configuration as well as JT 9 configuration is mentioned in step by step manner so let's see how to change those this is the smart fax server 2x in that SFS 2x folder SFS 2x folder consists a lib folder please check this I am not opening the config folder, opening the lib folder under that we have a folder named jetty and start d in that http.ini, https.ini so open the http.ini and change the jetty.port key as to your custom need I am changing as uh, 9191 And for the secure connections, change the https.ini. Here the key is https.port. Change those as your custom name. So I am restarting the server for affecting all these modifications. Pressing the Ctrl C to start the server. And starting the server. is the whole one let's check this the default uh, I am changed the 8080 port to 9191 so the smartfax server admin panel using the 9191 instead of 8080 I am, re I am refreshing the 8080 port let's see this why because we changed the 8080 port to 9191 the later session we will discuss what is the concept and why we need to use the admin panel and what is the use of admin panel of smartfax server 2x the smartfax server 2x provides an admin panel which have various functionalities and various uses to control and configure and to maintain or to audit the smartfax server 2x it is very easy and it is very uh, crucial one for the game developers or analysts. Thanks for watching this tutorial.